How to Cook Rice Without a Rice Cooker Rice The Best Accompaniment A versatile side dish for stews and stir-fries alike. 1. Very big, obstacle preventing me from starting a low-carb diet is one of the most significant staple meals in China and throughout the world. Since I was in the second grade, I have been able to prepare rice. My mother instructed me to use my finger to measure the correct quantity of water before I would scoop out the rice from a large canister in the pantry and drag a little step stool up to the kitchen sink. When everything was suddenly transformed into a fluffy, perfectly cooked side for whatever my parents were preparing that evening, I would place the pot in the rice cooker, cover it, and hit the button. I've been using a rice cooker to cook rice for as long as I can remember, as you can probably tell from that anecdote. Because of this, I was bewildered when I moved into a new apartment a few months ago and discovered that I was without a rice cooker for the first time ever. Like, losing from eating only pasta for a week. Fortunately, my mother had a solution for me, and I have been cooking rice without a rice cooker ever since using this technique. Although this straightforward approach is so reliable, I won't likely buy one for a while. Are you ready for the secret? Is to soak the rice. It doesn't require much soaking time. Only 15 to 20 minutes. When you do put the saucepan over the heat, the rice cooks more quickly since all the grains have liquid in them. The typical approach you could come across from other sources often entails mixing the rice and water in a 1 to 2 ratio and cooking everything right away on the burner. Despite the fact that the technique occasionally works, I frequently end up scorching the bottom of the rice since it takes longer to cook and doesn't always cook evenly. You should soak the rice, I assure you. So, if you're similarly without a rice cooker, here's how to always make great rice without one. Recipe Guidelines Take a measurement of however much rice you desire and record it. This stage doesn't require any specialized measurement equipment. Use whatever cup or mug you have, really. Place the rice in the pot and add only 2 inches of water to cover it. On the counter, let the rice soak for 15 to 20 minutes. Drain the water the rice was soaking in when it is finished. You should just have a saucepan of wet rice at this point. Now, can you recall how much rice you added to the pot? Pour the same quantity of new water into the saucepan after measuring it. For brown rice, add a little more water. Here is how the brown rice appears after soaking and having fresh water added. Set the heat of the saucepan to medium-high. Turn the heat down to low, cover the pot, and let the rice simmer for around 10 to 15 minutes, white rice, or 20 to 25 minutes, brown rice. That's all, then. Here is a pot of fluffy jasmine rice that is just right. Simple, right? Ingredients Rice Water Instructions Take a measurement of however much rice you desire and record it. This stage doesn't require any specialized measurement equipment. Use whatever cup or mug you have, really. Place the rice in the pot and add only 2 inches of water to cover it. On the counter, let the rice soak for 15 to 20 minutes. Drain the water the rice was soaking in when it is finished. You should just have a saucepan of wet rice at this point. Now, can you recall how much rice you added to the pot? Pour the same quantity of new water into the saucepan after measuring it. For brown rice, add a little more water. Set the heat of the saucepan to medium-high. Turn the heat down to low, cover the pot, and let the rice simmer for around 10 to 15 minutes white rice, or 20 to 25 minutes, brown rice. That's all, then.